Italian Ranch Parmesan Crusted Pork Chop. Look at this thing. Check this video out. Welcome to another recipe cooking made simple by Mind Blown Chef. If this is the first time on my channel, welcome to my channel. I am a real life chef. On this channel, you're gonna learn, you're gonna laugh, and I'm gonna show you awesome techniques and make it easier for you to cook in the kitchen. If all that sounds good, consider subscribing. Hit the bell and you'll always be updated with my new recipes. For our ingredients, we have a pork loin boneless, I butterflied it, ranch dressing, Italian breadcrumbs, Parmesan cheese, mixed dry Italian herbs, flour. I got a cast iron pan over here. I got enough oil in there to cover half of the pork because we're gonna pan fry it. I'm using cast iron, cast iron gets real hot, nice even heat. For our standard breading procedure on this, we're gonna go flour, ranch, and then I have the Parmesan cheese mixed with the Italian breadcrumbs. So what we wanna do first, is you're gonna season this with salt and pepper on both sides. Just go kind of light. Also the Italian herbs, put it on top, just a little tiny bit, just to bring out some more flavor because there's already herbs in all of the items coming down the line. So we just wanna sprinkle it nicely. We're gonna flour it. Usually I season my flour, but I already seasoned the meat here, so it's fine. And there's going to be lots of seasoning in the ranch dressing in the next dip. Also in the breadcrumbs. So we don't want to over season, but we want to make sure we have enough. Dredge this off. Make sure you get all the sides. Nice and coated. The flour is going to just help that ranch adhere to the pork. This is a rather large piece, no problem all the sides here. Now I'm gonna drop this in the breadcrumbs. I'm gonna go wash my hands off so they're dry so I don't bread my fingers. And then we'll finish breading it. So, our pan is hot, our pork is breaded. We're gonna drop this in nice and slow, always away from you so if there's a splash like just happened right there, it's away from you and you don't burn yourself. We're gonna let this go ahead, pan fry on each side for about four to five minutes. Nice golden brown. Once you get that nice golden brown color, we're gonna go ahead and finish this off in the oven, 350 until it's all the way cooked through, probably about 10 minutes. I'm gonna get it to about medium. Now, just so you guys know, back in the day around the 80s, uh, you had to cook your pork all the way through because there was what was called trichinosis. There is no longer trichinosis in pork. So you can actually eat pork Rare, medium, rare, medium, just like steak if you want. But I always cook my pork to medium. That's just my personal preference. So after 10 minutes, I took it out. Now the reason why I originally put it on a rack is so all that excess oil drips away and that way you still have a crispy product at the end and it's not soggy just sitting in its own oil. And there it is, guys. Sexy. Oh my god, we're gonna have to reshoot that. I'm gonna teach you how to cook. Simple, easy, oh, oh. <laughs>